But with Webcam Weekly this week, I decided to play Red Green Aggro. Uh, I played this maybe about a year ago at this point, uh, and the deck has gotten a lot of cards since then, and the meta's changed pretty significantly since then. Basically what Red Green Aggro is, is it's kind of taking like an RDW shell and replacing the less impactful burn spells with pump spells, because the green pump spells tend to give a lot more power, a lot more damage for the mana than the burn spells do. So like, a normal rate for a 2 mana burn spell is 3 damage, but Colossal Might or Collision Colossus are plus 4 damage. Uh, things like a Tarkus Command is 3 damage to each opponent, plus it pumps all your creatures, so this could be like a plus 6 damage burn spell, which is insane for 2 mana. Um, you know, Might of Old Crosa is plus 4, plus 4 on a 1 mana pump spell, which is kind of insane. The drawback for playing pump spells over burn spells is that if your creature gets removed in response, you don't get the damage. So it's obviously a little more vulnerable to interaction, but what it does mean is that you goldfish a lot faster. Uh, I think on like six, six and seven card hands with this deck, I've never failed to goldfish at turn four, and sometimes I goldfish turn three, which is not something that RDW can often say, uh, even though RDW, RDW is quite fast. I think one pitfall that people tend to get into is that they play uh, too many spells matter creatures like Dreadhorde, Arcanist, or Electrostatic Infantry. Uh, I think that it's best to keep it kind of minimal. You just play the best ones, like Soul Scar Mage, Monastery Swift Spear, uh, Fugitive Codebreaker, and uh, Kenra Spell Spear. And then I guess Questing Druid as well, because it's uh, card advantage and a crow creature. Uh, I have deliberately kept the green splash pretty light. Uh, I think if you make the green splash too big, then you get some mana issues. Uh, and it's already pretty hard to work a two-color mana base with such a low land count. Uh, I am on more mana sources than a normal RDW list because you need it for the uh, you need it for a two color deck, but you do still want to operate on like two to three mana sources in this deck for the most part. I have played one four drop, which is Minskin Boo. It's kind of hard to not justify Minskin Boo. It's uh, just sort of insane, you know. Uh, sometimes you won't even get to four mana, and then that feels really bad. But when you get to four mana and cast Minskin Boo, and it resolves, like that's pretty much going to win the game. So. Pretty hard to not play Minskin Boo. Um, yeah, let me think of uh, other things that are interesting. I'm on Double Mox Strip. I don't think you really get enough value out of uh, Mana Crypt or Soul Ring to go up to that. You're, you're still really low curve, you're pretty pip dense. Uh, I am playing One Surveil Land, which seems insane in a low land count deck like this, but the deck really doesn't have any selection whatsoever. So it's sort of just another way of preventing uh, of flood prevent prevention. In some hands, you don't even have a one-drop to play, so getting an early surveil land to basically filter out one card is really strong. And then late game, obviously, you can... Uh, late game meaning, like, your third land drop, third or fourth land drop. You can go and fetch a surveil land. It's felt pretty good in gold fishing. We'll see how much that comes back to bite me today. Um, but yeah, this is just trying to race as fast as possible. I, I didn't feel like uh, doing a lot of thinking after those long and full mirrors last week, so I'm just going to try and kill my opponent as quickly as possible. Let's see how it does today. My match one was against Pet Robar on Gruel Monsters, and we played our first game, which I ended up winning, and then there was a uh, mishap that happened, which required Parrot to uh, drop, so there will be no footage for game two. Um, and... Parabar asked that I didn't use the footage. So, I will continue on to match two then. Uh, I will keep this six. I will bottom this card. Like, Popper and Modern and stuff in paper. Uh -huh. It's It's been great. And so, more like 1v1 competitive stuff is going to be fantastic. All right, start us off, my friend. All right, put it put it, let's go. Uh, I will drop. Um, I will do a snow-covered island. <clears throat> and I would like to cast a period in. Sure. Uh, I will scry two. Yep. Uh, yeah, I will top top. I will draw from the period in, and I will say go. Okay, I'll catch an answer. <clears throat> yep. If you get a, I think it's called a commercial district. Yep. Red green screen. Yes.
the rail lands have been really interesting for the format. <laughs> I I think every two color deck should play it, but yeah. if you're more than two colors, it gets a little bit dicey. They're they're great in modern to like play just one of, uh-huh. but like I guess if you're like if you're doing scape shift, you want all of them, of course, but. Like I found having more than one is just a little awkward because of tap lands. Right. Like I I cut temples a, a while ago, but this is fine, I'll keep it on top. Fetch lands are just so powerful in this format that they don't really need it, but yeah. Just fetchable duels are great. <laughs> wow. And these are definitely better than like the bicycle lands. Yeah. Let's go Forest. Yep. Probably out the endless stance. <laughs> um Golly of the Endless Dance. Two mana T two, two with haste, correct? Yeah. And gives my other yeah. satyrs haste, which doesn't matter. And yeah, then and then the attack creatures. in battalion, yeah. I can discard um, a random to draw two. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Attack for two. I will go to eighteen. Yes. I will end up. I will draw. I will go to 16. Shock in a breeding pool. I will say go. Okay. One tap. Draw. Uh, let's go Sunbaked Canyon. Fugitive Codebreaker. I will attempt to mana drain a Fugitive Codebreaker. Sure. I have two colors floating. Or two. I have a delay trigger with, for two. Yeah. I'll attack you for two. I will take it and go to 14. Uh, second main. I'll lose one for my Sunday Canyon to skewer the Great Exceed. I will go to 11. And I will pass. I will untap. I will draw. I will upkeep. I have two colors floating. Or yep. main phase, two colors floating. Uh, I'm going to start by casting Ancestral Recall, targeting myself. I uh, hear that's a good card. Yep. I will draw one. I will draw two. I will draw three. Um. Hmm. I will continue to have two blow floating or two colors floating, and I will cast a ponder. Sure. Um, I will look at the top one, two, three. Um, it's all very awkward. I'm going to shuffle. I'm very intimidated by Skewer the Critics. Because that, that means there's a bunch of other better cards you're playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will draw from my Ponder. Yes. Um, well, I will play a Celestial Colonnade tapped, and I will take two from Mana Burn and pass the turn. Probably. Uh, untapped. Yeah, and I have seven cards in hand. Yeah. Let's dash this Ragavan. I will force of will that exiling Narset. I will go to ten. I'll attack you for two. I'll go to eight. And yeah, I'll see you. I will untap. I will draw. I will tap my island. I would like to island cycle Lorien reveal.
Yeah, I believe I'm going to just go and get... Rafine's Tower. I will put it into my hand. I will play it as my land return, and then I okay. will pass the turn. Uh, it's one on the end step to jump to lightning bolt you. I will go to five. Untap. Cards in hand. I have two. Okay. Draw for turn. Uh, I have like a million cards. Five. I will go with combat. <clears throat> uh, beginning of combat. I would like to cast Eladamry's Call. Okay. I would like to go get Solitude. Now I cut right to it. Sure. Sick. I would like to pitch cast Solitude, exiling Lauren of the Third Path. Okay. So, well, I gained two life. I will sacrifice my Solitude. Yep. Uh, second. I'll play this Inti, Michelle of the Sun. Very good card. Uh, I will pass after that. All right. I will untap. I will draw. I will pay three mana. Okay. I will do a time raveler. Yeah. I will bounce into. I will draw. I will do a Castle Arden Veil as I have return. I will say go. Uh, this is just representing his passive, so there's a game piece to point at. How many cards in hand? Three. I will one life. I think I should be at eighteen already. Seventeen for this broadside. Um yeah, broadside is going to resolve. Um it's another, right? Yeah, it's another. I think I care about very that much. I'll attack you for two. Uh, I declare no blocks. I will go to three. Okay. Uh, say go. Uh, two cards in hand? Uh, two, cards two plus in D. Two plus in D. Um, yeah, I will untap. I will draw. Yep. I will uptick to fairy. I will do a Hallowed Fountain tapped, and I will pass the turn. You want to shock it in? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. I'm already dead to so many things. Let's not add to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, let's go for Let's go for an attacker's command. Deal three damage and I guess plus one plus one for my creatures. Uh in response I'll Wrath of God and die. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill the I'll kill the the, the pirates on my way out. <laughs> we'll try this hand. Right. Uh, Pre-game effects? Nope. <laughs> All right. 
Got it. Got to check for Leyland of the Guild Pack these days too. I will do a Polluted Delta and pass the turn. We'll play this Crack Crown Pathway on the red side. Okay. Pass the Monsters for Sphere. Uh, okay. Back for one. Uh, I will go to 19. I will get a Tundra and I will source to Plowshares the Monster Swift Spear. Okay. Uh, go. Get out of here, Taylor Swift Spear. There it is. I will unset. Yep. I will drop. I will do on a dark heart wastes and I will pass the turn. Okay. I will cast this Chromox. Uh no response. Chromox resolves. Uh imprint trigger. Yep. Okay, I'll imprint this for plan rampager. Yep. I will cast this into I would like to spell snare into. <laughs> I'll still say go. Uh, on your end step, I will go to eighteen and I'll let to brainstorm. Okay. Yep. I will draw one, two, three. Uh, I will put one back. I'll put two back. I'll put this in my graveyard. I will untap. I'll yep. keep. I'll draw. I have a windswept teeth, and I will say go. Untap. Uh, I'll attempt to cast the fugitive code breaker. Um, I will mana drain. I will take a damage to do this. Oh, there you go. I will untap. I will draw. I will have two colors in my main phase. Yep. Uh, I will play an Iganjo, Seat of the Empire, his land for turn. Yep. I will tap for a blue and a white. And a colorless, and I will use my two colorless floating. I would like to cast a Dragon Lord Ojitai. Okay. What is this thing? I, it's been... It is a five mana, five four legendary creature, Elder Dragon with flying and hexproof as long as it's untapped. And when it deals combat damage to a player, I anticipate. Sure. Uh, and I'll say go. Five four, you say. <laughs> Flying hexproof. Yeah. All right. Let's go. We'll play this Charming Scoundrel. Uh, resolves. Trigger. Uh, I'm gonna make a treasure. <laughs> okay. I need to crack that treasure for an Emperor's veteran. Yep, that's fine too. Uh, pass. <laughs> I will sack this on instead. I'll go to yep. 16. I'm gonna go get Spar's headquarters. Da, 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 da. There it is. I will shuffle.
I will untap. I love you, but I'll draw. I will pass the turn. Five four hexper bay. <laughs> yep. And flying. It's like it's the one legendary creature that gets around Caracas because it only gets Caracas when I'm willing to attack with it. Yep. Uh, I will go to combat. Yep. I will attack with both. I would like to go to blocks. Sure. I would like to block the 2 1. Oh, that's fine. Take one. I will take one. I will go to 15. Like Two damage marked. Like yep. Stage. <laughs> 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 um, I will cryptic command modes counter bounce your mocks. Oh, what a threat! And yeah, uh, oh, I play mocks. <laughs> yep, E to be triggered. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Yep. I'll searing screw you. I will take three. I'll go to 12. Uh, and I will stick up. <laughs> I will untap. I will draw. Cards in hand? Who know. One. Um, yeah. I will do a celestial colonnade. I will say go. Let's pass. Uh, on your end step, I will tap for two. I would like to do a Snapcaster Mage. You have one card in hand? One card in hand. Respond by casting this price of progress. Uh, yeah, price will resolve. I will take 10, go to 2. Yeah, I'll take 2 and 19. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep, your snapcaster's good. <laughs> um, well, this was going to do something else, but now it's going to target source to plowshares. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to cast. Yeah, I would like to cast Source of Plowshares on my Snapcaster Mage. <laughs> Game two, like, go to yeah. four. <laughs> Snapcaster is yeah. exile. That's as well. probably the yeah the worst Snapcaster I've ever cast. Um, yeah. Go to me. <laughs> yep. I will untap. You are tapped out, correct? I'm tapped out. Yeah. I will draw. Uh, I will go to combat. I would like to attack for five. Sure. I'll, I'll put you to 14. Uh, I have an anticipate trigger. I yep. will look at the top three cards. I'll put one of them into my hand. It will be uh, this one. I will bottom these two. Okay. Is it a random order? In any order. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> Back so before they turns. stopped doing that. Yeah. yeah. Um, second main phase, I will play a snow covered island as land for turn. This is tapped, and I will say go. I'm trying to keep. I don't know if this on. <laughs> uh, resolves. I will take one and go to three. Yeah. <laughs> I will pass. Um, on your end step. Yeah. I will pay five mana and I would like to cast Solitude. Uh, ETB, I'd like to hit the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I'll put you to 15. Yep. Go to me? Yep. I will untap. I will draw. I will go to combat. I'll swing for 8. Yeah, I got 7. And uh, I will go up to 6. six. Uh, and I have a trigger off of Ojitai. Yep. Um, I will take this one. I will bottom these two. Yep. Um... 
I will play a snow covered plains as land from hand, and I will say go. You, I will concede. <laughs> All right, yay, Dragon Lord Ojutai. All right, whenever you're ready. I will play this mountain and cast the Soul Scourge. Uh, yep, that will happen. And I'll say go. I will drop. I have an Adarkar Wastes. Yep. And a top. And I will say go. A Ramanap Ruins. Yep. And a Felden. Uh, yep. Felden's good. I will take three. I'll go to 17. Yep. I will untap. I will upkeep. I will draw. I will do a snow covered plains as land for turn. And I will say go. Yep. Oh, I have to fetch right now. No, I have no response. That's fine. That's not the tiger. You excited for fetchable deserts from Thunder Junction? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> In, depends on what they do. I don't know if they'll be any good, but... Yeah. I don't know that I'm going to care that I can sack a different land for Ramanap Ruins. <laughs> just, you can sack more lands to Ramanap Ruins. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I died to Sun Scorched Desert so many times in that standard format. Um, Heroic Combat. Uh, yep. After three. I declare no blocks. Tricks before damage. Uh, I'd like to cast this Searing Spear, targeting you. Thomas Trigger. Um, in response, I'd like to spin top. Sure. Um, I will put them back like this. Okay. Uh, yes, I'll put them back like this. Um, I would then like to pitch cast a solitude. Sure. Um, I will target the soul scar mage. Sure. So I'll gain one. Um, that is in graveyard. That is in exile. Searing spear can resolve. I will take three down to fourteen, and then I am good to go to damage. Yep, take two from Elden. Go to twelve. Play the card ape. <laughs> monkey. That I'll pass. Yeah, the original one mana monkey. <laughs> I will untap. I will upkeep. I will draw. I will play this island as land for turn. And I will say go. Draw. Uh, attempt to cast this Lelia. Lelia will resolve. Go to combat. In the beginning of combat, I would like to activate top. Uh, I will, is, does that resolve? Yeah, that resolves. I'll draw a card and put top on top of my library. Um, I would like to pay a blue. <laughs> I'd like to cast Mystical Tutor. No, you are getting Terminus. Okay. Just, just, just a very roundabout way of getting Terminus. Um, okay. I'm going to go and get Terminus and put it on top of my library, and then I would like to cast Consider. Okay. And I will take a pain 
to cast the consider off my waist, and then I yeah. will decide to keep it on top and. Oh shit! No, this isn't how fucking thingy works, is it? No, oh no! I just, just like yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I've just fucking screwed myself. Ah, um, <laughs> because uh, that's not how top works. Um, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll cast consider. Um, sure. I will bin it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Lelia results because <laughs> I'm just very bad at this game. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so glad I did this on a on game three of a match that's been recorded with multiple. It's okay, no one's no one's watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, tag, trigger. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Tag. I forgot how terminus works. It's okay. For a minute, you made me think I was stupid. So there you go. Confidence. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, four. Yeah, seven, you can damage. go anywhere with a clipboard and a hard hat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's six damage. Or no, seven damage, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll go to five. I have you at four because you took a pain from your consider. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I took a pain from my <laughs> sorry, sorry, incredible play in, but... in sequencing. <laughs> no, no, I did this to myself. Uh, I'll say go. All right. Now, the correct thing to do is can I kill myself this turn? Um, I'm at four. Let's see if we can do it. Um... I will okay. shock in a breeding land. pool. Okay. I'll go to two. Yeah. I will pay three mana and I will do a Narset. Okay. I will down take Narset. Yeah. Uh, I will reveal a counter spell. And okay. we will we will not get there. Uh, I will pr take a damage and pass the turn and proceed to <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just I should have just shame scooped to be honest. I I thought about it, but uh I was like should I like try to attack for as much uh, as I can with this? <laughs> I, I I see I I was I was floating I was uh, I wanted to float the mystical tutor, but then you played Lelia and I'm like, ah oh, no, I need to kill Lelia. Lelia needs to go so I can but I I've been floating this mystical tutor for this exact reason. Activate top. <laughs> no <I> <laughs> All right. Yeah, GG's friend, sometimes you get in your own head too much. Sake of your viewers, do you want to just lay out each of our opening hands? Uh, no, because there's no guarantee that I'm not cheating. <laughs> so, sure. Fair. I'll put this one on the bottom. You got it. And <laughs> I will start us off with a nothing ground into Soul Star Mage. That sure. Works. Catch your triumph tapped, go. Uh, mountain. Mm -hmm. Attack. Yeah, no thanks. I will blood rush this core plan rampager. Woo! 15. And I will say go. Okay. Draw. Cephalid Coliseum, take one, young peasy. Go. I'll play this Copperline Gorge. Yeah. And I will chain lightning your pyromancer. Um, misstep, make a guy. Misstep, make a guy. That's right. Uh, for combat. Yeah. Back for two. I'll jump. Sure. Uh, I'll play this yellow my iconoclast main and sure. And uh, I'll keep draw. Pluto Delta crack going to eleven. Yep. Grab a underground C and thought CSU. you sure you're going to nine. Okay. I'll stall in hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go. Oh, the worst. Uh, I did get a guy, I guess. Could be. I'll play the Skull and Turn and Fetch. Mm hmm. Myself, uh. Mm hmm. Uh, play 
Next turn. Take one. Remand. Make I'll, a guy. Yeah. And draw a card. Play next turn. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll go to combat. Yeah. Double block. I'll just attack with the three two trample. Double block. Okay, so take Big one. one. Seven. I'll level up my snake twice and say go. And to upkeep, draw. Marsh flats, crack. Yep. Going to six. Grab a. Oh, sorry, I did not. Uh, I guess I didn't tell you before, so it's fine. Uh, I guess it's not fine. Fuck. Um, never mind. Shit. You have a proxy card? Uh, my. I was playing my blue red survey land as the blue black one, but. Sure. If that's. Yeah. Like you, you could ask uh, Treves and uh, Tarju. It came up in both of our games. Okay, that's fine. I'd like to. I can imagine with my lion's eye that it's a blue. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> Surveil. One. In this bloodstained mire. Okay. Go to five. Past cruise. Trigger big guy. Yep. Fort bolt, fort bolt, fort bolt. Uh, chain lightning, the X Trigger Trigger big guy. Go. Um, I guess combat. Yeah. No. Double block. Sure. Yep. They trick. Yeah. Back goes Cackler Unleashed. Pass. Sure. I'm tap. Keep. Draw. <clears throat> it would be so over if you didn't have that missed up. <laughs> <laughs> missed up. Good card. Good card. I drew it after you cast the Soul Scar Mage, and I was like, oh, poor me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, my life is so hard. Uh... <laughs> Molten collapse. Trigger make a guy. Yeah. Uh, swing three. Fourteen. Dark six shores tapped. Pass. Next trick. Evasive action, count on pay four, going on a four. The trigger make a guy. If you play in a four color deck, I'll pass. I know. I didn't ask to do this draw. Mystic Sanctuary put Cruise on top. Sure. Um, swing five. Go. Go. Oh, masters. Okay. Take one. Shoot you. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Combat. Swing all. How much is that? Seven? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, seven. Okay. I got a one. And I will pass turn. Game two. <laughs> I will keep this one. Uh, all right, I'll start with a burden catacombs and take up. All right, draw. Triome tapped. Go. How do I lose? I'm going to get the green red surveil land. Okay. <clears throat> It's so sick. I love, I'm, I love those lands so much. Yeah, they're, they're so really much cool. Better than I hoped they would be. It's weird because, like, I would think it'd not be good in this deck, but the deck has so little card selection that if you have a turn off with a fetch land, it's just. Yeah, it's well. great. 
Yeah. Your odds of actually drawing it and ruin, ruining your curve are yeah. pretty low. In a game where you only see, like, I don't know, what, maybe 12 cards, ideally, in your deck, like, seeing an extra one is huge. Keep that on top. Yeah. Oh, well, wasted it. Never mind. Yeah, uh, it's... Why, why do I even bother? Uh, mountain. Play this Fugit Cove Breaker. That's 2 1 prowess haste? Yep. Okay. That's good. For two. Take, Take two, 18. Draw. Scalding Tarn, Crack, Underground Sea? Yep. Inquisition. Okay. I have a Galia of the Endless Dance, a Monstrous Rage, a Chromox, a Colossal Knight, and a Mystery Reinforced. Galia, Monster Rage, Colossal Knight. I will take the Galia. Galia? Yep. Uh, and then I think I'm going to cast a Sleight of Hands. I'm just going to... Sorry. Sure. Roll bottom six. This one, bottom this one. Okay. And pass. Uh, I'm going to... Play this Misty. Yeah. Cast this Monstrous Rage on my Codebreaker. That's good. Trigger. Take a monster roll. So uh, it goes then... plus three plus one? Yeah, so it's Jesus. got plus three plus one yeah. for this turn. Uh, so attack for one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I will stuff it out. Yeah. I'll fetch this, go get a Taiga, cast this Kenra Spell Spear. Sure. Hands I go. Draw. Brainstorm. Okay. Yeah, just do nothing. Literally just draw a card. Um, swamp, Molten, Collapse, the Spell Spear. Fast turn. I keep draw. Oh, uh, play this Blood Feather Phoenix and say go. What's that? Okay. Draw. Ponder. Sure. Shuffle. Okay. Draw. Where the foothills go. Okay. 
That's not bad. Yeah. Two. No effects. Okay, take two. Yeah, 11. I'll play this South Max Georgia. I will pay a blue to misstep that. I'll say go. <laughs> Crack is going to 10. Cover Steam Vents tapped. Okay. <clears throat> Two on the bottom. <laughs> Untap. Okay, draw. EI. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. And exile bottom. Okay. Play fiery islet. Yep. Take one. Cast him. Um, pass turn. Uh, with combat. Yeah. Attack for two. No blocks. Any cards you have in hand? Two. Don't need the beta bush. Beta bush. <laughs> Set, upkeep, draw. Oh, I mean, I know you can't three. Box, but still. Um, I'll toss scar myself. Okay. Trigger, make a guy. Yep. Then, tough pierce decay, draw. Um, I will pass turn. Uh, attempt to during spear view. That's fine. Six. I'll bring back my blood feather phoenix. Yeah. Gain taste. Attack for two. Four. There you go. I'm tap. I'll keep. Draw. Mind twist for one, trigger. For two, I guess, sorry, two. Two sees better here. Sure, yeah. That's yeah. Fine. I have a chrome ox and a other land. <laughs> sure, swing four. Go. Act two. Yep. Pass. Crack the island, draw a card. Sure. Yeah, okay. Swing five. Six. Pass turn. Uh, ice the Phoenix. Trigger, make a guy. Okay. Draw. Play this Rakdos Cackler off unleashed. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, there you go. One card in hand? Yeah. And you're at six? Yeah. Draw. Dash monkey. Yeah. Swing all? I block the third path, but then I take six. Yeah. I went 2 1 today. Um, it's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure I could have gone 3 uh, gotten into the finals at least. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Match 1 was actually pretty interesting. Unfortunately, there was the mishap that happened, and so there's no footage for that. Uh, match 2 was... It was definitely interesting. I was playing against some sort of Bant control... Bant black control file, um, and... It was playing things like Wrath of God, and this deck is just so fast it can kind of get under those decks most of the time. Uh, 
you know, when you're not playing stuff like, when you're not playing, when you're playing Bant, you don't have that much early removal, and so it's kind of hard to control the board. You kind of rely on your sweepers, and this deck just gets underneath that. Uh, that second game, I kept a one lander, banking on the Monastery Swift Spirit plus Light Up the Stage to get me out of it. My Swift Spirit immediately got removed, so Light Up the Stage was kind of useless. And I didn't really draw, I drew Chrome Mox, but I didn't really draw uh, any sorts of the rest of the game, even though it went off for quite a while, so that was unfortunate. And then match three, my opponent definitely, or not match three, uh, game three of match two, my opponent definitely punted with the whole top and the terminus and the mystical tutor thing. But uh, I think that I was probably still in a pretty good spot, even if I did get terminus there, um, or even if I did get my Lelia removed, which is the thing that could have actually happened because terminus was not happening. Um, yeah, and then my match against Prime was a little unfortunate. His deck has got a lot of removal, which makes getting blown out more likely, but. Typically, those low to the ground templish style decks struggle really struggle against these super fast uh, low to the ground aggro decks. Uh, they just don't have enough removal to deal with the threat density. You know, I, I am on thirty six creatures and a bunch of burn spells. Um, but you know, he drew extremely well. He had the mental misstep for my chain lightning on his young pyromancer, which basically single handedly won him the game. And even then, he was still uh, in trouble. He he might have still died, but he had he cruised into something else to get Chain Lightning for Hextrigger, and like, yeah, he drew a lot of cards, which is definitely what you want to do in that matchup, but at the same time, there weren't that many outs, and he hit the thing that he needed to hit. Um, and then match two was just sort of unfortunate. I kept kind of a uh, heavy land hand, you know, it was three lands plus Chromox, which is not ideal, but I really didn't want to mulligan. Uh, that doesn't really mulligan super well, so... I kept my 7, and he just happened to have exact things he needed to blow me out. I definitely made some mistakes, but, you know, trying to... I definitely made mistakes like uh, trying to pump Fugitive Codebreaker and getting blown out by stuff out. Uh, you know, it is what it is. What am I going to do? Play around him having 0 mana open and uh, having a removal spell? And then, with the Blood Feather Phoenix, he had, I think, only Fatal Push that could have killed it, and he happened to draw a Fatal Push, which... You know, again, that happens. Um, in, you know, 9 out of 10 timelines, I win that game. I lost the 1 out of 10. Uh, it's okay. Um, so yeah, this is Red Green Ego. It's a classic. I don't think there's anything that needs to be changed to the stack. Uh, Chromox is awkward sometimes, but also sometimes it's uh, very explosive. The Surveil Land felt fine. Uh, didn't trip me up at all and gave me a little bit of selection, which is nice. Although I think the two times I fetched it today, I I uh, kept the card on top, so it didn't really do much, but it, it's good, at least in, in uh, theory. Uh, the deck just requires me to play tight, and I didn't play as tight as I could have, and so that's kind of what happens. That's Red Green Aggro. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for more gameplay content, see the playlist on the left, and for some long-form long theory content, check out the playlist on the right. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. See you next time.